Right, I found my shear pin that was actually inside of the spring on here, so uh, we'll try this again. Make sure that I get that shear pin in there, such a way that it stays put. See, the shear pin just popped right out. I saw it that time. So I can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, I got a little magnet on a stick here, which I use this thing so much for stuff just like this. That pin fell down in there. Uh, huh. It's a tight fit, but it does fit, so just a matter of getting it all lined up in the right place and everything. Okay, I think it's on there correctly now. And I just need to bend these little notches up. These weren't real tight, so I don't want to over tighten them when I put them back. Okay, that's on there, and it's ready to go on there. So, uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the flywheel on that other one. If you look at the teeth on this one, you can see that some of them are worn pretty badly in spots, like that one right there, and that one next to it, and that one. That could have been what was causing that racket. I believe my flywheel looks okay. Cutworm actually sent me another flywheel besides the one that I've got on there. So I feel pretty good and confident that uh, we'll be okay as far as flywheels go. Even if I had to uh, replace one, I think it would be fine. I'm going to try to put this old one kind of back together like it was because I don't want to. I don't want to lose any parts of it if I can help it. I, you never know. What I'll do is I'll just take that old one too and I'll put it in the bag and save it with my other Crosley parts I've got out there. My hands have gotten a little cold. I'm going to go in and warm my hands up. Uh, and then I'll come back out here and uh, we'll take that out. Take the other starter that's on the Crosley off of it and put this one on it and then uh, spin her over, see how she sounds, and then after that we'll see if we can get her cranked. If I have to, I believe I could probably drive it in here on the battery. What I might do too is close this garage down and start the heater. I've got a little, I've got a little gas heater back there. That I think I could use the heat this way. I want to 